You see, sometimes they say, don't judge me when you're giving them advice. You say, brother, you're not supposed to go to the nightclub. Hey, stop judging me. What are you talking about? We're just advising you. So don't use the term, do not judge me in order to run away from advice. Sometimes it becomes different for the, difficult for the scholars or for those who want to advise others to advise them. Sister, your, your hair is supposed to be covered. Sister, you're supposed to be dressing in a proper way. My brother, you're not supposed to be bouncing around on the street with your backside half showing. Allahu Akbar. Stop judging me. But your backside's judging you. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> and this happens and we get these answers on a daily basis. Well, to be honest, nobody is judging. But it does not mean that if a person has uttered these type of words that their heart is dirty. No, brother, sister, they are advising you for your better. Wallahi, moments ago, I was listening to a clip in the Urdu language of one of the cricketers in Pakistan. I don't even know exactly who he is, but I believe he is one of the top cricketers of the globe. And he was making mention of who his real friends are. Do you know what he said? He's a cricketer. He says, the real friends are the ulama. My real friends are those scholars who keep reminding me what is my duty to Allah, what is halal and haram, and the fact that I'm going to go into my grave with nobody, no cricket bat and no ball and no score, and nothing from the Guinness Book of Records, but just me and my own records, the deeds I've done. Imagine a cricketer, a man who's one of the top on the globe, confirming that those scholars who continue reminding me, telling me, that I am a person who's I am a person who's going to go into my grave all alone. Those are my true friends, subhanallah. What about us? What do we have next to our names? Do we hate the people who remind us? If that's the case, purification of the heart and soul is required. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us purify. Wallahi, it is a difficult age that we are moving in because people do not realize that when others are reminding you to purify your soul, your heart, they are not judging you. They are, they are helping you. They are giving you a word of encouragement. Don't just give that answer. That is an answer that sometimes the globe gives in order to get away with murder, to keep on committing sin. We will not judge you. We love you, my sister, but we don't love your bad habit. We love you, my brother. We don't love your bad habit.